This is a 2021 Jeep JLU Wrangler Rubicon Eco Diesel. Some of that stuff will be obvious to most of you out there, but I stay that state that most every time is because even though there's a big letters across the hood that says Rubicon, I'll still get a question. Hey, is that a Rubicon? So anyway, so what it is. What I wanted to cover today is I went ahead and swapped out the the fenders um, from the factory to rugged ridge setup front and rear with the led um, lights this came factory with the led lights so uh, kind of relevant but not completely relevant but anyway just so you guys know i had the leds to begin with also footnote uh, these really are a bushwhacker um, kit that they resell or rebrand under uh, rugged ridge and then they sent it back out because i bought the rugged ridge but when i got the kit you can see what that says right there <laughs> these mounts are bushwhacker and the rugged ridge ones were slightly different design um, i wanted the different design but after i got this one i actually think it flows better with the front bumper so what do i want to mention okay this is a 40 amp i believe it's 40 amp um yeah it is 40 amp 12 volt dc relay got four wires coming into it a yellow a white two black with the factory leds um in your info display it'll tell you if a bulb's burned out and anyone that's converted from a conventional bulb to a led bulb you know as soon as you put the led bulb and the, your blinkers flash way too fast. And it's because, because the LEDs don't have the same current draw that a conventional bulb does. It's just a lot less power to make them work. And that, that flashing is based off of a current draw. So when the current draw is wrong, you're gonna flash too quick. So with the aftermarket LEDs, they don't have the same uh, current draw that the factory ones do. And the factory ones might have a special module inside the LED assembly that allows it to, you know, artificially have a higher current draw. So your thing blinks correctly and your info says that it doesn't say that you have a ball burned out. So one of the ways to trick the system is to use a relay. And on these on these kits the yellow wire which is your turn signal wire uh, feeds power you just tap directly into it and it feeds power to the relay that energizes the relay and then the white wire uh, taps into the white wire that is in the factory harness and it just runs that to ground um, what that does is when the yellow wire gets a signal for the turn signal to power meaning hey cycle on the relay energizes which adds an additional load to the circuit which tricks the module in the vehicle to go oh the led is there and not burned out and then so once the power goes away on yellow which turns off your uh turn signal the relay de-energizes de now there's another option when it energizes on some crap with the white wire. I uh, don't want to say not important, but for the discussion, um, not terribly important. So let me turn this light on. So up in here is where your main harness comes out for your LEDs. And you can see there's a, a green wire, a yellow wire, a white wire, a red yellow wire and a black wire there's five um, the LED that's installed uses three red is for daytime running light white um, yellow is for turn signal amber on and then black is for ground and so the red out of this feeds directly the green and yellow, I can't remember for sure. Uh, they're twisted together, and then the white sits on its own, and then the black is ground. So you'd have this relay sitting up in here on the new harness. And what's the problem with that? Well, if anyone's ever heard one of these relays, they are loud as F when they click on. 
And so when you touch the door handles, if you got the, you know, the sensor touch unlock, you know, you hear this click, click because your lights cycle when the doors unlock and it is obnoxiously loud. In fact, if you're sitting inside the vehicle without the engine running and you turn the turn signal on, you can hear this relay going on and off louder than you can hear your dash click happening with your turn signal. It, it, it drove me freaking nuts. I hated it. So I went ahead and pulled them out and direct wired it. Um, turn signals work uh, and worked perfectly fine as advertised. The after after you use it, um, I don't know how long, but let's say after the turn signal has been on for 30 seconds, uh, fairly length of time, not some short little interval. I'm going to turn this light off. The info display comes up with turn signal, whichever one, if it's the left turn signal on at the time, comes up left turn signal ball burned out. And the other thing that you'll notice is the green arrow in your display is blinking way fast like like a bulb's burned out. But if you come outside and look at the actual aftermarket LEDs, they're blinking at a perfect rate. There's, they're just blinking the way they should so they don't match the inside. Okay, I want to do a quick demo to show you guys what happens when you put the non-factory LEDs on. So what I've done is I've disconnected the left turn signal and when I turn the turn signal on, since it's fully disconnected, I don't know if it's going to go straight into the burned out mode or if it's going to blink correctly for a little bit and then say burned out mode. But one of the two things will happen. So I'll go ahead and, and turn left blinker on now. Blinking correctly. It's disconnected completely. It'll go through a cycle and then the logic will catch up and go, wait a minute, this isn't right. And it should start blinking super fast and then the info display will come up and say left turn signal burned out so there it goes so you can see on the picture it's showing the left and you can see the green light down there and you can i'll shut it for a second you can listen to the click so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and uh, stop the video and i'm going to reconnect it and then uh, start the video again so you guys can see how that works once you get it wired correctly Blinkers connected back up the left one. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and turn the left blinker on again. And what you should see is the reverse where it'll blink stupidly and fastly on the green arrow until it realizes that everything's hooked up. And the reason why I'm showing you all this is because when you go to do your test with a, a relay or a load circuit, and if you just turn the blinker on thinking, okay, it should be blinking correctly if I hooked it up correctly, that's what I thought initially. That's not the case. You've got to let it go for a while to see if it's fixed or not because it just doesn't rectify it. So here I'll show you. The left turn signal is plugged back in, so it's 100% operational. When I turn the turn signal on, it should blink all stupid and then after a while fix itself. So here we go. Light's going super fast. Click is not right. So if you hooked up the wires and thought you didn't hook it up right, you need to let it go. Just let it go, let it go. And then eventually it'll go, oh, it is right. So now it's correct. So if I turn this off and then turn it back on, it's correct. And I'll no longer get the info that the uh, lights burned out. So. Anyway, hopefully that helps. It uh, would have saved me quite a bit of troubleshooting time if I had known that you had to let it go a while before it reset itself. So back to the normal video. So I thought, well, I don't want to have every time I start the vehicle, the info system going ding, ding. You know, your turn signal is burned out for both sides. I didn't want to hear it every time. So I went ahead and ordered a solid state relay that is a is a replication of this one meaning it's the exact same the exact same design but it's solid state went ahead and wired it back in let me turn this light on again and the relay is actually sitting back behind here and with a solid state uh, you don't hear anything it's just perfectly 100% quiet like it's not even there 
And by putting that solid state relay in and wiring it up exactly like that one, and anyone's interested in the wiring diagram, you know, I, I can go ahead and do a special private video, unlisted video, and just put the link in the comments so you can see exactly how to wire it in. But if you're if you're doing that, doing this at all, you probably got enough skill just to figure it out on your own. But anyway, the solid state relay, one per side, and I bought I'll I'll put a picture in this video with a stuff, but it's uh, it's like a KD0602 something or other. But once, once I put those two relays in to replace the solid state one, um, turn signals work perfect. No burned out bulb warning in the dash. Uh, the green arrow for the turn signal matches the same rate as a factory and it just completely cleaned it up. So anyone that's installed these aftermarket um, LEDs and they're using one of those relays to trick the system for the load and you just are sick of hearing that really loud click happening every time the turn signal's turned on or every time you lock or unlock the vehicle, then this mod's for you. Because uh, it works perfectly fine with that noisy ass relay, but I couldn't stand it. It drove me nuts. So anyway, hopefully someone finds this useful. If you guys got any comments or questions, uh, you know where to leave them. Have a good one.